nobody cares about your product or service. Nobody cares about your book, nobody cares about your program, nobody cares about the thing that you're making or what you have to offer. This is Jason Kanigan, President of Sales on Fire, and let's have a serious chat about marketing. A lot of you come to me and you have a book, or you have a video series, or you have something, a piece of software, and you think it's so fantastic. In fact, some of you have been working on this thing for so long, you're sick and tired of it. Okay? That should be kind of a warning sign right there. Nobody cares. <laughs> okay? Let me be completely blunt with you in saying that. No one cares about what you have to offer, your thing, whatever it is, okay? A lot of people seem to think they're gonna hire a copywriter and suddenly, magically, they're gonna post this letter somewhere online, a sales letter, and magically, customers are gonna come flying through the door. Give me a break, it doesn't work that way. You don't just post something and have tons and tons of customers. That doesn't happen. There are two sides to the revenue equation, traffic and conversion, and you need them both working together. And if what I just said doesn't make any sense, then you need an education in marketing, okay? Traffic is eyeballs. Where are those coming from? How are you gonna get them? And conversion is the tool that you're using to filter that traffic into qualified leads and then to buyers, okay? And a piece of sales copy is one part of that puzzle. That's it, that's it, that's conversion portion, that's it. It might be the main part of your conversion, but that's it. It does not cover traffic. And so many people come to me and they have no idea where those eyeballs are coming from. Eh. Okay, I'm a business strategist. I can help you with that. I'm not a traffic guy, but I know how to define that traffic. Okay, because the essence of marketing is not your magic, super duper, better than before mousetrap. It doesn't matter. No one cares, okay? Try to get that through your head. And that's why I'm being so blunt about it. So that hopefully I'll affect somebody. Because the fact of the matter is, the real magic in marketing comes from matching up a problem and a solution. That's it. Not your specific solution. I could, I could offer them a stick as the solution. A stick. Okay? Now, is that a good solution? Probably not a very good solution. And in fact, the ethics guy in me would go, eh, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna work with that. But I could offer it. I mean, how do you think people sell pet rocks? All right? It's been going on a long time. The stick is a solution. It may not be a very good solution, but you dress it up, you market it properly as the solution to their problem. Dress it up a little bit. Get them to do a little witch dance. Something like that before they use the stick. Tap your partner with it and suddenly something will happen to them, you know? Or <laughs> use it as a magic wand. I don't, I don't care right now. I'm saying that the stick is just as valid a solution as whatever thing that you're so invested in, okay? And that's your head trash. That's your baloney that you're carrying around with you like this big Santa sack of crap. Okay, about how important this thing is and how it really matters and how it's going to change the world. People won't see it. It won't change the world without traffic. The business strategist is talking to you here. Okay, and the stick can outperform whatever magic thing you think that you're bringing to the marketplace. The stick can do better if the matchup between problem and solution is better achieved through the strategy that you're using. Merely showing up is not good enough. Merely going, hi marketplace, I've got this thing, is not good enough. That is not going to produce sales. Not in a quantity that is going to produce the money amount that you're looking for. Okay, again, no one cares about your thing, whatever it is. Okay, you have to fit it in to the problem and solution for it to matter to them. And most of you, I don't see you doing that. I see a lot of games, I see a lot of tricks being played, I see a lot of hope, but hope doesn't sell people, okay? In marketing terms, in terms of you being the seller, hope is not a strategy, okay? I'm going to put it out there and hope people are going to buy. Doesn't work that way. This is Jason Cadigan from Sales on Fire reminding you don't get too married to that thing that you're bringing to the table, okay? 
And if you are, make sure you've got the traffic side of it taken care of. If you come to somebody like me and you have a call and you realize, no, Jason asked me about where are we going to get the eyeballs for this from and I have no idea. Jason's not going to look too great on that. He's not going to look at that and go, wow, what an awesome opportunity. Okay, You are, again, all wound up in that headspace that this is such an amazing thing. The rest of the world doesn't care. Think differently. Thanks for watching. <music>